They're all riled up. Just keep at it. Go ham until you've drawn every last bit of attention. Everyone else, proceed as planned. Two have got the diversion covered. So now's your time to shout. Gotcha. The first one's the boss. Let's secure the area in front of the gate first. Yes, yes! Slice him and dice him! Grab it, Seth! Joker's got the enemy. Big top bash. Awesome job. He's a bit longer. You can get all by himself, too. Now that's our joke. We bet this call when you pulled off that gently. Call some of this deja vu. And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these 
just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kabaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. What? Hmm. But what evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> mm. So, the Phantom Thieves rise again. since we rode this to Young and Jaya, huh? We're almost there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Yeah, when the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Finally made it. Get you or what? <laughs> <laughs> we missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot. Oh, you you some nice coffee? Hey, you guys hungry? Oh, is practically purring. <laughs> You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Voss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. <laughs> on second thought, maybe the only thing that grew on you was your mouth. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I've got to open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now, thieves, to the hideout. <laughs> Great. 
great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> Seriously, though, no. it's not a joke. You really never change. You won three of my finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Will you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh! Yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program, though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and P.E. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? What a coinky-dink! Me too. Well, I've been getting by, too, but without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of... bleh. Of course. He's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. <laughs> Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Well, I'd say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right! We should figure that stuff out! You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but you're third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop! No, don't bring that up. Not now, please. Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. With the sheer wealth of beauty I can witness in a whole month, I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. A trip does sound nice. But what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue Aren't those always big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Kicking summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Hmm, good point. A proper meal needs a bit of color to it. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. There was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah! It's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it, right? 
I think you mean AI, not NI. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! You sound kind of cool, though. Tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it too? Hello, this is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Thank you. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them up. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! <sighs> AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So, let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over. Particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that. Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? Hmm. Memories. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. 
This place is just as great as I remembered. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. Place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. That is understandable. This is something only felt in the depths of one's heart. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate? and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world. The time for you to become certain is drawing nigh. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, you must never forget, I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams. to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello. Do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that store you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. We can even figure out how to help with a big question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. <laughs> What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? What the hell's a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice? 
Alice is here? Alice Hiragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you? Huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. changed at all, have you? It's on our way into the store, why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it! Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that... Alice! Alice Hiraki! Hi folks, thanks for coming! A shop that carries one of my very own brands is opening here, today! Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? Well, I know a place where that dream comes to life. A wonderland where you become whatever you want to be. Now, I've got one question. Does anyone want to visit this wonderland with me? What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Hey, you just don't get it. Her being different is what makes her so awesome. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady Anne alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around is all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. I don't know. Feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed, too. Whoa! For real? 
<laughs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it Look. out. Look, uh -huh. aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey, everyone. You love me, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> No time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. Damn it! Ah, fine. Let's do this. Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. the hell is this place?
could be Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. If this really is a palace, the distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, I'm even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. <sighs> Guess we're doing this. these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. <sighs> you look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye-bye! Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing... So that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. Well, that's good at least. Damn that Alice. Acting like she's top shit. I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on.
What is this place? Who are you? You are... a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you as well. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? Jumped down here by that Alice girl, too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories. So I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two. Come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? She came out of a giant box? What crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you... If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So... you wanna help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, w we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Well, hey! Don't go out there alone! What now, Joker? Right. She might be able to get us out of this dump. You sure about that? She's still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows! Oh crap, too late! Get behind us, Sophia! Where the hell did they come from? Nobody's coming for us if we go down here. Let's get it! <laughs> got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we're the phantom thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The phantom thieves? That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Compliment, I guess. Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. If you want to help us, then let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> all right, you're weird, but... I guess you really do want to help. It's your goal, Joker. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. Along with the cat and the skeleton. Well, I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait, just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat. Joker! I'm Skull. Don't screw it up. And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it. What has upset you? All right. Let's 
be careful. We'd be fine, but we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. Sophia with us. We should just avoid it if we can. Are you saying that's in your way? Yeah, we can't escape unless we get past here. Okay, I've got it. Huh? Got what? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, wait up! <laughs> Them. Wait, wait, wait. You're so effing strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? It's completely different from our own transformations. I copied what you do and ended up like this. Dude, that ain't the issue. More importantly, uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. Sophia, just what in the world are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. There's still just too much we don't know. But we don't have the time to figure it out now either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Right, you'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. You need any healing items? This might be... Give interest. Mm, nope. No shadows here. Whoa, a treasure chest. What's inside, Joker?
check anything suspiciously. You never know what you might find. Wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. Let's try those stairs for now. See that hanging there, Joker? You thinking what I'm thinking? Just yet. There. If we climb there, we can proceed. Guess there's no other option. I'm not sensing any shadows. We're safe here. I've got eyes on them! Joker. Enemy became a mask? Explain this. 
He seals the shadow's form and power into a mask, turning it into a persona. Oh, interesting. yourself when you need it. This is still the Metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? <sighs> I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... <sighs> Seriously? It is close. Follow me. Hey, wait! Sophia! What is her deal? Oh, I don't know, but we need to move it! Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes. This is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all... <laughs> for a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? How do you know we'll be okay? Trust me, Joker. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. 
Hmm. Looks like we've only got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I am. What should I do? Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? What? What are you doing? We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Uh, okay. Well, here goes. One, two... This is the real world, right? Yep, looks like we're back, all right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on, Sophia, where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty, get your ass over here! Kill that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh, where is she? I'm in front of you, inside Joker's phone. What's with the floating head? Yo! Whoa, she just popped up! Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. An AI? AI? Uh... Uh, that's that smart thing, right? Futaba told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? I have your phone to thank for that. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. Does that mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy. Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. I get what you're saying, but if we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? That sounds good. Also, Introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. 
One of them will probably flip her wig over you, too. Okay. That sounds pretty fun. I see. You're saying you entered the metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. What? Dude, shut up! You want to believe in us or not? We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Whoa. What is that? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. I can feel the charm. The pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. <laughs> That's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help up with my family's company. I'm An Takamaki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm Futaba Sakura, and I kinda suck at socializing, but, but I wanna be friends and stuff. Ah, uh, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Makoto, Haru, An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Show me, show me. Take it down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh... If your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah. She was calling herself the Queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? 
You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! But you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Right, we've got our mission. Very well. I look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code! You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime! I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. Ah, man, this is what happens when we get back together? Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. <sighs> huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Metaverse. I'm about to slice you to ribbons. Aha. You can't slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? Well, we're at it. Did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. I'm good! It's just around the block! Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made... Like a tree? Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. You're a real standout. But that just might mean you're going to see some trouble again soon. Alice, Emma, this new metaverse, 
A mountain of mystery sure is piling up fast. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery. Says the talking cat. Uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just... just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay. That is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Okay, I'll do that. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Great, everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Let's do this thing. Well, did we make it? Phantom Thief attire. Yeah, you too. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So... This is... the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers! Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. 
That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? What the hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Sophia? Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Aww, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped can tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No. That was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. Yeah, we should get some sleep. Hang on, you still have some investigating to do. Can we please get into that once we're out of here? Okay, let's get out of here. presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. 
I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah, way to go, Lady Anne. But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Well, that settles that. We are counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Hey, you better not be thinking of trying anything funny. I'm the one who will suffer for it. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but... This seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the Metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help! It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Yep, let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks, we're on it. Too late coming back. Mm, boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. So, this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? Well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, she really is adorable! Riding back from commercial! Back in five, four, three! And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much! The theme of my current line is 
Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Haha, <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating? Rumors. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh. What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice, I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey, w what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What, what in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? Actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Well, Alice may be cute, but that was still way too bizarre of him. True. It didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there, and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person, but now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. 
<laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh, so you want me to punish you again? Ah, please, I'm sorry. Oh, oops, what a terrible accident. Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Uh, and who is this? It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. Who the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on. Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... 
What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it! I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Thank you! Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. Uh, it should be a bit sweeter than that. Oh, like marshmallow or blamage. Ooh, we're doing dessert names? How about croque and bouche? None of those make great code names or easy to yell. What if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the Metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? That's basically her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the Metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Radical, dude. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became Phantom Thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. We may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. Our 
next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shopping to you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey. What's up? Welcome to the Velvet Room. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead, and watch over you through your journey. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you, and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Go. The airsoft shop's closed. Takemi Clinic's shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the Metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah, check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. 
Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No prob. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? Hello? Expedited delivery! Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh... Whoa! <laughs> well, someone should open it. Gee, this is your doing! Open it! What? Me? Of course! <laughs> Wait, it is, right? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. Uh, is that real? Holy shit, what have I done? Yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way. No way is that real. Whoa! Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> Th that needs to go to the police. Right away! Oh, wait! They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody. All right. Did that solve your problem? Don't praise her! I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back. Sorry, I didn't get that. Send the other thing back! Hello, expedited pickup. Thank you for choosing our services. <sighs> I'm relieved they took it back, but <sighs> that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez. Uh... Thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Okay. I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Well, that was a ride. But I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right. Leave it to me. What are you looking for today? You want this one? Do you want to equip that? Thank you very much. Who is it for? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? 
Let's do it. Our first goal would be the treasure room, yes? I'm sensing something treasure-like over here. That's where you were taken when they captured you, right? Yeah. Just thinking about it pisses me off. Piece of shit, so full of herself. So, Alice is there now, huh? You know, it does sort of look like a castle. A castle ruled by a monarch. I admit, it's rather fitting. So, we're heading to the castle? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'll watch your backs out there. <laughs> Sophie's inaugural heist is a phantom thief. This'll be great. We don't know the opposition will face. Be sure to switch out team members when necessary. Good point. We're at your beck and call, Joker. numbers. Don't you remember what to do at times like this? Watch for an opening, then jump it from behind. Be careful not to get spotted. Show me your true self! Some time since we fought. They'll go a lot smoother whenever we the other. I guess now we getting spotted by one of those will mean big trouble. Surrounded in no time. Shadows are patrolling too. No surprise. Security is tight here. A frontal assault sounds like it might be out of the picture. Let's see if we have anything else here. There, getting in the castle should be a cinch. But there are more searchlights. How will we get past? Smaller than the other ones. Why don't we just try sneaking past?
the jail looks like Shibuya, but the layout isn't exactly the same. I'm worried we'll get ourselves lost. on your location or that'll probably happen. Such as? I don't think we'll be able to climb that. Look over there! What if we tried going up that way? At the very least, we might spot a way around this from up there. Good idea! Let's hop on up! Treasure? No, I'm not getting treasure vibes from it. it. Looks the same. It's actually totally different. I'm picking up a really strong reading from it. It's connected to the searchlights, too. If we take it, I think we'll cut the power to the searchlights. It seems that is our next step. Let us advance towards the tower. But how do we get up that thing? I see anything resembling an entrance. Sure, we can all fly here. Suggestion, why not approach from below? How so? Below us is an underground waterway, remember? All right, nice call! That sounds like the best idea to me, too. Let's do it. We should make haste. One moment. Something is nearby. Something? What kind of something? It is a... space... connected to... somewhere. Hmm? Hey, Sophie! You're right! It's like the space here is being warped and connected to... the crossing? As in, the crossing where we first entered the jail? So, if we use this, we'll go back to the entrance? Sounds like moving between the jail and the real world will make our resupply efforts at least a bit easier. That's it! I'm calling this a checkpoint. Go ahead and give it a spin so the location data registers. Write something. Hmm. This axe is super easy to swing. I guess all that firewood chopping really paid off. It 
looks like this tunnel eventually leads right under Maruku City. Tunnel? Looks more like a sewer to me. And there's no easy way to get to the other side. Well, looks like we're swimming. No, no, no. I am not swimming in that. Ugh, not happening! I would prefer not to as well. Can't we search for another way? Hey, check out the grate. What do you think? Could we use that to get around? Yeah, it's worth a try. Yeah, it's too cramped in here. Run into the Panther's boots. Run into anything else back there, and I'll show you how much damage these boots can really do. Ah, no, please don't. Please. I'll bet that leads to the surface. Who the hell are you? Ah, us can't have these guys raise a fuss about us. Get rid of them quick. This is your chance. It's showtime. Show me your true self. whose desires were taken? I see some familiar faces. There's no doubt these are the same victims. So we've discovered where they're being held. We have to rescue them! No. Considering their behavior, it wouldn't help letting them out now. 
If they've lost their minds from having their desires stolen, we'll need them returned first. Shit! How could someone do this to people? Where'd you come from? Oh, we're busted! Let's get him, Joker! That was the searchlight's power source. Is that a dress? It is rather cute. I've seen this before. It's a dress in Alice's lineup. I recognize it from a fashion magazine. Wait, that dress made the searchlights move? Doesn't make any sense. Well, we're in the cognitive world. Maybe it holds some sort of power here? Hear ya. None of this is making any sense to me. Wonder if this somehow represents a monarch's power. One could say that Alice's brand is, in essence, what allowed her to become what she is today. Proof of her dominance here. And this core must be the power source for the jail's equipment. Well, now that we have it, the searchlights should be off, right? Ah, uh, looks like two of them are still up and running. They've got their own cores powering them. The first one is east of here. Real-world location-wise, I'd say around Mia Mai Park. What a pain in the ass. Well, let's get it over with. I wonder if the other cores are in jail cell covered towers like this one. Some form of shorthand reference would be more convenient. How does incarceration zone sound? In cars or... What? Dude, why the hell would we call it that? These places are for protecting the jail's power sources, so... How about prison keeps? in the real world. Is that our current destination? Well, 
That didn't take long. This one doesn't appear any easier to breach, though. Looks like we're taking the long way around. Security's gonna be tight. The enemy hasn't noticed us. I'll There's our chance. Okay, let's Let go. Go. Oh, yeah. Got this. It's over. An easy win, don't you think? Okay, let's keep it moving. All clear. Nothing to worry about here. Entrance. Maybe we should gain some elevation. That spot seems rather odd. Maybe we'll find something useful there.
Thanks for having my back. It seems any hacking attempts here are met with reinforcements. Let's make sure Oracle's as prepared as possible from here on out. Magazine. A widely recognized symbol of power. Mona's theory is being proven with each turn. She would have been famous even if she hadn't started doing all this. Panther. Then what reason did she have? Does she even have one at all? Whatever the case, the next core is the last one. It's just a bit west of here, over by Boom Kamachi. Boom Kamachi? That's quite the cultural hotspot. Returning to Shibuya Crossing and using Central Street would probably be the quickest. yet. Oracle still has to hack into it. Well, it's hacking time. Ready to watch my back? All right, hacking in. Make sure you back me up. Witness! 
This is the final prison keep. The walls are just as high as the others. I suspect the gate is closed just as with the others. How will we breach the keep? Perhaps we can leap over there from another rooftop? Let's try gaining some elevation. There's a pretty good view of the area. Now, to find the point of entry. Hey, there! That string of flags leads all the way to the peak. Think we could slide down it to get over there? Hmm. It doesn't look taut enough for us to use like that. But what if we gave the Ferris wheel a spin? Would that tighten it up? Hmm? Yeah, that could work. Let's head over there and check it out. Ambush. Show me your Stay true self. I feel like we're always going up and down in these jails. It must be pretty difficult to remember the layout. I should write something. Something 
there. All right. Just a minute. What's that? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, crap. We're busted. Careful. That one's stronger than the others. Check out the party popper. That's a good idea. Proper aim, we could do some You're... major damage. Uh, so that is how we function. I want to take you. Yes, we have to first aim them up here. Let's see. for the Ferris wheel. Can you... We don't have to go hunting for more generators, do we? Nope. Looks like we're good here. It's already juiced up for us. Perhaps the Ferris wheel's connected to the same generators. Then everything turned out great for us. Can you get it working, Oracle? All right! Ferris wheel! Activate! Whoa. You did it! Now we can enter the prison. of the jail's power sources. Correct. The searchlights should be deactivated now. Finally, we can enter Alice's castle. Shall we? Yes. We need to stop her as soon as possible. Let's return to the crossing. What's with the commotion out there? It better be good. Well, the group we dumped underground have returned. Those boys from the other day? <laughs> Come to get back at me, huh? I can't seize their desires. They're useless to me. But really, couldn't you handle something so simple on your own? Our deepest apologies. <sighs> you are all useless. Get it done, or I'm getting rid of you. Well, anything to say? We'll 
We'll take care of it. Great! I can't wait! Hmm. <laughs> You're a real surprise, Joker. Now I'm starting to want you all to myself. Look at their numbers. Damn it, what is this? Can't reach the castle! Well, we just finished off the searchlights, too. Guess we did wreak some real havoc here. Looks like we finally gotten Alice's full attention. Oracle, any guidance for us? Uh, this is a real toughie. I'm not seeing any alternate paths right now. Staying here will only get us surrounded. Joker, what's your call? No other choice. Let's get back to reality and figure out our next step there. It's grown quite late, hasn't it? Man, what are we gonna do? The wall ain't going anywhere. Wait. A more pressing issue's arisen. I'm quite famished. Ah, what an issue. Come on, dude, get real. Uh, on second thought, I'm famished too. <laughs> Let's get something to eat. We can't have any good ideas on empty stomachs. Hungry? I'll find a restaurant for you. No need, Sophia. Our target's already been decided. Sojiro's courier boss! I bet he'll hook all of you up, too. Do you mean it? Uh, take it easy on boss, okay? He's already treated us plenty. Uh, I don't even care. What's that? A fight? All those stupid bastards making me look like crap. Oh, it's okay, sir. Hey, kids, get out of the way. Uh, just some plastered suit. Huh? Hey, what are these little sits doing out? Hey, you're a real wonder. How's about you and I go back to my place? And... <laughs> hey, cut it out. Oh, oh, you want to fight? Please, don't work him up any worse than he is already. What? He's the one who started it. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you all some manners. If you don't walk away. All right, break it up. That's enough. What the hell is this? Hmm, how should I put it? I'm just a knight in shining armor. Uh, what? That's weird. Knight in shining armor, my ass. I'm gonna punch your lights out. Careful now. Ooh, you really ate it there. You okay? Um, you totally knocked him on his ass? Oh, come on. You totally saw it. That was legitimate self defense. Hey! This is assault! Uh, you want me to call the police? I am the police. Now scram. What? A cop? Ah! I'm so sorry! No, wait, take this guy with you! Well, not a great subordinate. <sighs> I guess this guy will come to eventually. Ah, well, folks, you all right now? Don't worry about it. My job's to protect civilians. Don't get too chummy. This man is most likely with public security. Ooh, good guess. Although, it may be more like common knowledge, considering the number of tails on you. For example, you noticed the one over there yet? Dumbass, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. 
Could you bring this drunk in for me? What? The hell is with this guy? The suspicion level's off the charts. What does someone from public security want with us? Oh, no need for that look. I actually do have a reason to be here. I need to speak with you. Let's say we grab some coffee over there. Their curry's pretty killer, too. Enjoy. Sorry about that. We just spies the police is all. It, it's kind of weird when you say it with a smile like that. So? Why'd you rescue us? We'd appreciate it if you'd get to the point. Fine, fine. I'll skip the runaround and just tell you. I'm Zenkichi Hasegawa, an investigator on loan to Tokyo's public security branch. I'm officially an inspector. It's not a rank to sneeze at. Inspectors are not to be sneezed at. Okay, I've got it. Uh, who said that? Uh, whatever. I need to ask you something. Did you hear at all about that mess on the chat show the other day? With Alice Hiragi? Yeah, of course you did. It was a huge disaster. Well, there's already been a full investigation into the incident. There was no indication the MC was planning to propose. Everyone questioned said he didn't even know who Alice was before this week. Not only that, he'd already been engaged to his co-host for however long. There isn't a whiff of motive to be found. So, the police have concluded, doesn't this sound like the work of the Phantom Thieves? Wait, you're saying... A whole lot of similar cases last year, no? Sudden personality shifts, abnormal behavior, psychotic breakdowns. If that MC went bonkers from a change of heart, you're gonna be suspect number one. The leader of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. We don't know if it's drugs or hypnosis or what, but they want to charge you with criminal mischief. It's only a matter of time before you are arrested. But why? This is outrageous. What proof do you have? Sure it's outrageous, but we don't actually have any proof yet. That's why I'm here. So, level with me. Are you? Uh-huh. Are you the one doing this? Hell no, dude! Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, <laughs> just a second. Ah, uh, hello, Commissioner. Yes, I'm with the Phantom Thieves leader. I just asked for a confession, but he says he's innocent. Yes, that's right. <laughs> huh? Kidding? No, no, this is all real. That's enough nonsense? Oh, okay. I'm on my way to the office. <sighs> well, as you saw, I reported what you said to my boss. But if you ask me, mm, I don't think she's convinced. Did he really call his boss? Holy shit. What is with this guy? What are you trying to prove here? No matter how hard you claim to be innocent, there are people out there chomping at the bit to arrest you. If that ever happens, you're done for. And I'll be up the river too, because then this case will never get solved. So I wanted to make you an offer. Or maybe more like a deal. A deal with you? I want to solve this case. To do that, I need the intel you've gathered. At the moment, I don't have anything that even resembles a lead. <clears throat> I'm totally at a loss. You, though, you just don't want to get arrested. I can do what needs to be done, so that won't happen. Your old men are a trustworthy lot in the force. There won't be any problems. Sound like a fair deal to you? I appreciate you trying to see the benefit here. I really don't think it's a bad deal for you. Dude, hang on. You really think we should trust someone this shady? You know how they say the wise cat hides its claws? Let's just say that applies to me too. I've literally never heard that. What do you think? You don't have to do anything until you decide whether you trust him or not. That sure is a noisy cat. Uh, <clears throat> meow! 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 Well, I don't need an answer right away. Get back to me once you think it over. 
I hope you'll see things my way. Phantom thieves. All right, boss. Hmm. Be back soon for some curry. Sorry, the curry's 86th. For you. Oh, now that hurts. <laughs> what is with that guy? Ugh, he is absolutely ridiculous. He appears to have a great many bats in his belfry. Zenkichi Hasegawa? What a cool name for such a dweeb. But if he was telling the truth just now, they're gonna arrest him? Ah, what a bullshit deal! I say it's more of a threat. Without a doubt, it still beats having him arrested. Walking into a trap isn't smart, but the intel might still pay off for us. Wait, now that we know the police are on the move, we've already benefited from that guy. But now, the big question, how much can we trust him? If you think so, then we should at least consider it. So, fess up. What'd you do this time? Mm, nothing. No worries, Sojiro. This is about that Alice girl, right? You're suspected of causing that whole mess on TV somehow. Is that it? Ugh. But it's totally bull. We know Alice is the one doing it. We are sorry, boss. We really didn't want to bother you again. Well, you didn't do it, right? So keep your chin up. If it's totally bull, then it's up to you to prove it. Boss! Chief really nailed it there. If you need anything, just let me know. Aw, thank you, Sojiro. First things first, we take care of Alice. We can respond to the detective later. If Alice publicly admits to what she's been doing, it should clear our name anyway. Oh, right. Then we wouldn't even need to make a deal with him. Nevertheless, we've yet to find a way to get closer to Alice's castle. That wall really is our biggest problem. In trouble? I can help. We're trying to figure out a way past that damn wall. I'm sorry. I don't have a solution to that. How about hacking it, Futaba? Hmm, I could probably do something if it's linked directly to a terminal, but... A terminal? There is a control panel on the other side of the wall. What? Really? It was saved in my memory when we first confronted it. Therefore, really. Damn, I can't believe you remember that. What an eye, huh, guys? It's a eye. Hmm? Who are you talking to? Have a friend on the phone? It's just your imagination, Sojiro. <laughs> it's almost like I've had my shop swiped from under my butt. That means you can lock up for me, right? I'm about to head out. And don't stay up too late, either. Got it? Roger. Well, don't overdo it. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get Futaba on the other side of the wall. Perhaps we could climb it with her? I don't think it's too high for us. There are too many searchlights in the area. We'd be quickly surrounded. We're going to need a decoy to put a dent in their defenses for us. One decoy? What do you think could actually pull that off? Who could be a decoy by themselves? Sorry, you're the only one who could pull this off. Now there's our leader. I knew you. Make a huge commotion to draw as much of the Shadow's attention as you can for us. This still sounds too dangerous, even for him. Shouldn't someone back him up? I can provide support. I will divide the enemy's attention between him and myself. This will lighten the burden placed upon you. No prob. Alright, we've got a plan. Now we just have to assign roles to the rest of the team. Everyone remember their roles? 
You, me, and Ryuji are going to destroy the searchlights. No worries there. We'll mess them up quick. As Futaba hacks into the control panel, Haru, Makoto, and I shall protect her. We're not to let a single shadow pass us. No worries there either. Okay. You guys are gonna be lifesavers. I swear I'll drop that wall, no matter what. My goal is to lure the initial wave of enemies elsewhere. After losing them elsewhere, I'll return to you. Thanks, Sophia. But don't be too reckless. Got it. I won't be too reckless. And the linchpin to this whole operation is... You're gonna be the star of this distraction. Make it as flashy as possible. Time to move out. We're carving a path all the way to Alice's castle. Got the plan down, Pat? Then let's go! All right.
party? Let us depart. Now on. 
so. You're the one who's defying this king. You will go no further. Once you are dead, her majesty can be at ease. This one. from here. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Let's come back here once we're prepared. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we can get inside from here. Once we get in the castle, are you ready? All right, let's go! All right, we're in! We're picking up that treasure-like smell right above us in the throne room. Let's go! safe for now.
Intruders! Get them! How dare you filth defy her majesty! around with us anymore. We've grown quite a ways up already. How much further to the top? There should be a stairwell on the other side of that door.
Lord. outside. It'd be worthwhile. <laughs> oh, how about this way? Let's see where they take us. That treasure-like smell isn't far enough. Let's get to the roof. Smells coming from. Be ready for anything, guys. Is this some kind of birdcage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Hey, hey, look! Is that a treasure? No. I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. the desires? Yes, sir. This is all of them so far. Desires? More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. 
Understood, sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires? Yeah. They're the same as what we saw the other day. desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure light shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. But if that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but... Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, that's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I... hearing something? Sophie, wait! Go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... The hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? 
Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be. Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Where celebs went to high school, easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit even you can't find, Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. <sighs> this is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. Uh, but isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Mako-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, Answer me! Ah, okay. Alice Aragi's school. It's... It's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm PubSec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Hiragi went to school, right? But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiragi, especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? Nah, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep. Just a little more time, and I'll get it myself. Great! Happy to help. But... Wait, come on now! This is a real deal connection here! Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no, everyone's senpai, but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. 
Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's settled. Let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. is right. I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. Well, yeah, dude. It hasn't even been half a year since you saw it last time. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> Well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious! Why are you still alive? <sighs> do us a favor.
to get it through your thick skull. No one wants you around. Oh shit, what the hell is going on? This thing just flipped out out of nowhere. The room's also changed. Are these prison cells? No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Fire. Let's read the enemy's movements and respond Fire. in time. Should expand our tactical options. Seems I've gained new power. You've awakened to a new power. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. 
I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a bird cage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it... I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to palace generation. I've gotta say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. You know it! This is gonna be our best one so far. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. I'll just add this. Forming a fusion? You wish to browse the entries? What would you like to register? This persona has been registered in its prep. Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Seems that it can gain new power. Choose which. Is this the per? Now, let us begin. that it can gain new power. Choose. I should write something. In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with... Hey, no. Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back.
Okay, next I'm scheduled at... Oh, it's the manager. Hello? Oh, this is bad, Miss Alice. Look at the email I forwarded you. What in the... Phantom Thieves? You're taking my desire? All the desires I've collected? No, you can't! I need those! That's what makes me the monarch! I need those to... Without those, I'll... All right. I'll wait for you. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. I'll smash you for certain this time. Like these, I know I'm supposed to be sent to you. Locked on target. I'm bowing. I'm going to check that out. Great shot to the birdcage of desire. procedures wouldn't work. All right, Skull. Get to home. Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, what do we do now? How do you steal something like that? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? It's her! Alice. So, it's a fight after all. Desires. Hey, you! Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? Oh, what a girl. You should try being nicer to girls. Alice Hiragi! We know all about the horrible things you've done. You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. Takamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. That doesn't matter now. With this power, I 
can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! Wonderland. Fire! It's tough, but it's weak to fire! You can handle it! 
focus. I was finally able to find some happiness. Are you here to take everything I have? Just like she did? Just try me. Something's changed. Stay on guard. Whoa, holy shit! Why is she so fast now? Sheesh! It's time to take you all to school! Alice, what made you like this? You never get on to me. I've been dreaming of you all my life. Get him out! Get him out! You know what that's like. The further up the social ladder, the shittier they were to me. Even if they saw some of my own. Oh, I don't think I'm old, but they didn't matter. How did it get dressed like that? Not for you, but I'll show you. You're trash, too. Oh, how 
Going, you'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? <sighs> I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. <sighs> and I tried so hard to change, and I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked against so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding. I'll destroy every single one of them. Alice. So this is a wound in a heart. <laughs> this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully, right? You idiot. What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, Takamaki-san... You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me, going through the same thing. But I... <sighs> you think so? Takamaki-san, I... I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You want to be... really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now. Where I belong. This time, I'm gonna be...
was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real-life counterparts are returning to normal. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the...? What is it, Mona-chan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing. But the giant desire blew up! Like... No. Just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So, if the monarch is toppled, and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two can really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah... I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure of it, too. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human... because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? <laughs> well, what do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. With Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people, it is also able to save people. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes. 
I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. <laughs> Miss Alice... And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... I've hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... The, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! You have to stand by! Alice. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of I want my money back. Well, we sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Sup? How's it hanging, folks? Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as... running some questions by Alice for you. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's... accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? 
If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. Uh, detective's intuition? Maybe? I mean, I'm PubSec, but that's close enough. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But... What Gramps is saying is probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Then what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? I think that'd be wisest. No, wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but, the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. Alright, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. See, a jail full of shadows, with a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to, exactly? So, are you gonna answer me, or...? This isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our phantom thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Christians, this is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait. Who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... what? 
Chill out, Zenkichi. You've got to keep yourself together. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like Monster Cat. I am not a Monster Cat. I am Morgana. Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? Miss the monster cat! I'm not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. <sighs> Buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? 
<sighs> there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah. Sushi for me. Hearing that from you is a real relief. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Mediz. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Ah, uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so... We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone if stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over? Aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up! If that's the plan, maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right! We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, guess? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... Hell 
yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. <laughs> A ride that could fit all of you. Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So considerate. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are y'all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. My scores, Ankichi! Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration, hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. 
I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkichi said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Yo. What? Whoa. Beautiful. Thanks. Come on. It's true. 